As we move from quarter one to quarter two, you'll notice you'll have some unpublished courses for your term two classes here. So up here in my published course, this is my physics course from term one. And I just have one course and there are three sections within that course. Now, this course is continuing for term two. So what I want to do is get that content into all three of these. Now, if you're starting a brand new course, let's say you have a term long course and you want, so it's a nine week course and you want to get all those nine weeks into a course that's coming up for term two, starting fresh. We'll show you how to do that too. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into one of your unpublished term two courses. So let's say this is the course you want to go into. Now, I actually have three sections of physics, which is a two term course. So let's go into that course here. This is my period one, the block one course. So you'll see there's nothing in there yet, nothing built. But the one thing it does have I'm not going to click on the people, but it has all my students auto enrolled. And that's the big reason why we want to put our stuff into our term two courses. So we're going to head down here on the blue menu here, all the way down to the bottom to settings. Off in the right hand menu, we want to import course content. So I want to import everything I had from term one into this term two course. So it can continue to roll. Or if I was starting a brand new term two course, a nine week course and bringing it in, I would have all nine weeks right in there ready to go. So import course content over here. Now importing content, the type we're selecting is we are gonna copy a Canvas course. So we have that term one course, we are gonna copy that into term two. Now, there's a couple of reasons to do this. Again, if you have a nine-week course, we're going to put everything in there, and we'll be ready to roll on day one. If we are doing uh, a two-term course, we'll have still have all the stuff from term one that students may need to draw back on while we're working on term two. So let's copy that Canvas course. Now, the course that I'm copying, I'm selecting the course. I'm going to go down here, my term one over here is my physics course. So this is physics, the one that I was teaching in term one. Now, it's up to you whether you want to copy all content or specific content. Now, all content means everything from that last term is going to go into here. If you select specific content, everything won't go into there. And I'll talk about why you may want to do specific content in just a minute. So for now, I'm going to select specific content because there's one piece you may not want to transfer over. And I'll talk about what that is. But just about everyone will probably be choosing all content. So next thing here, in terms of options, adjusting events and due dates. Now for my course, this is a two-term course. So I really want to keep all those old dates old because the new assignments I create are going to get new dates. If you're a nine-week teacher, though, if you are importing everything and starting a new nine week class with new students, you'd want to adjust the events and due dates. So when you click shift dates, what you're essentially doing, think about this is your term one course beginning date, and this is your term two course beginning date. Again, this is assuming this is for a nine week course. And again, term one ending date, term two ending date. So again, only choose this shift date options if you're doing a nine week course where you're starting fresh. Now my course is not a nine week course. We're going from term one to term two and I'm keeping all of my students. So I'm keeping all my students, no new students. I just want to catalog all those old assignments and resources and have them in there. So we have a seamless transition from term one to term two. Now when you click import, so I have here, it's just waiting to import. So if I want to choose specific content, if I chose that as the option, not all content, if I click select content, it'll show me specifically what I would want to put in there. All right. So it has my different information here. 
whether it be modules, assignments, quizzes, question banks, pages, external tools, rubrics, learning outcomes, and etc. You can go in further and choose specific ones that you do want to include and not want to include. So you can go really in depth in terms of importing specific things. One thing you may not want to import would be announcements. So if you're going from term one to term two, having announcements already there, maybe one thing you would probably not want to import. So think about that when you select. So again, select whatever you wanted. And once you click select content, then it would start the import process. But me, myself, I'm going to go back and I really want to import everything. So just to kind of make that happen, I'm essentially choosing everything here and let's import that. So you'll see now it's queued and it's going to take care of that process for me. All right. So it says here my import was completed. So let's go back to the homepage and you'll see now I have all my content in here from the last term. So basically I can just keep on running this from term one into term two. So if I go back to my dashboard now, this again is my term one course up here. This down here is my term two course, and this is just period one. So now I have these other two sections that I want to put into here. This is where the idea of cross-listing comes into play. So to cross-list, again, these are my term two courses. They have not been published yet because it's not term two. I want to put these two sections, block two and block four, into my block one. I want to link all these together or cross-link them. What I need to do is to get the course number for this block one, basically where I want to put everything. So I'm going to click on block one. Once I click on block one, I have this course number up here in the URL. I'm going to copy that and head back to the dashboard. So that's the course I want to put everything into. So I have to go to these individual courses and put them into there. So the uncookie monster, the blank ones that are not pretty yet, I want to put those into the one that is. And again, I got that course number already. Again, you can copy it or write it down somewhere so you have it. Now to cross list, I'm going to go to settings here. Next, go to sections. So there's this section here. This is the current section. I want to put this one into the other one. So I'm going to click on this section. And across the side, it says cross link it. And that's what I want to do. I want to put it somewhere else. So I clicked on Crosslink, and I have the course ID right there. Let's put that in there. And yes, I want to put it into period one. So cross-link this or cross-list it. Now let's go back to the dashboard. And voila. This is only period four that's left. So I'm going to go into period four, do the same thing. So I still have that number copied. Go into settings. Go into sections. I want to put block four into block one. Cross list. And again, I'm pasting that number that I took before. 21999. Again, that is block one's number or period one number. So cross list that. And let's go back to our dashboard and see if this worked. All right. So again, I'm ready to start term two because this is my term one here. This is my term two. And if I go to my term two course, just to double check everything. Let's go to settings. Just to double check those other courses are in there. If I go to sections, I've got block one, block two, block four and we are good to go. So that's cross-listing. If you have multiple sections you want to put into one, good luck.